Hello Internet family, Dan here from DanceTube.tv and today I'm checking out the Mavic 2 Pro. Now I decided instead of an unboxing video, I would just open it up and discuss the differences that I noticed between the original Mavic Pro and the Mavic 2 Pro. I want to check out the controller, the drone itself, the gimbal mechanism, and I just want to see what they've done different with the Mavic 2 Pro. Let's get into this box. Ooh, yes. Ooh, la la la. There's not much left to do now, but get into the box. Ooh, there she is. The first thing you'll notice when you look in the box is the slightly different color that they've gone with. They've gone with a different style of gray. Now the controller itself looks very similar to the original Mavic Pro controller. The only notable difference would be this little switch here that allows you to go from sports mode to the P mode, which is the default mode, and then in a tripod mode. So you have the option to switch straight to tripod mode without having to go through the app itself, which is amazing and a lot of people are looking for that. The only other notable change would be the detachable thumbsticks, similar to what they did with the Mavic Air. And I love this little mechanism here, this little design that they've gone with. It just means that you can screw them in and then tuck them away when you're done. And they still obviously give you the option to just leave them in at all times, but it just makes it a lot easier to transport it when you just tuck it away and just have a flush controller without thumbsticks pointing out. So overall, the controller itself looks very similar, no major differences there, but I do like the color change and I really do love the addition of the removable thumbsticks. Now moving on to the Mavic 2 Pro itself, here is the unit right here. Again, a slightly different gray by the looks of it, but this thing has a little bit more weight to it than the original. I can definitely feel a little more weight in here. And obviously we have the massive one inch sensor on the front here. We have all of the obstacle avoidance, all of the sensors all over it. It's a beautiful looking unit. They've gone all out on this. Still a very recognizable design, very similar to the Mavic Pro, but they've changed a few things just to obviously make everything work. Now that mechanism there still feels as good as the first day that I used it on the original Mavic Pro. Everything just folds out as you would expect. The back legs actually have a lot more of a pop to them as they straighten out, so that feels really nice. And there's the drone there, that's the Mavic 2 Pro. Look at this thing. Look how elegant it looks. Now, one thing that is different on the Mavic 2 is this thick old battery here. Now she's a beauty, she's a big battery. But that means that we get a little bit more flight time, we get 31 minutes, and obviously it's powering a lot more electronics in here. There's a lot more to power with the Mavic 2. Now, it has no power, because they would obviously ship it without any sort of charge, and the batteries do just charge as well. Um, but let's actually have a little bit of a closer look at this sensor here. Now the mechanism... Huh, the gimbal cover is different. Okay, so it's got a little holder there that actually holds the camera, and there it is, there's the beautiful one inch Hasselblad sensor. One thing you'll notice straight away is the gimbal system, it's a lot better than the original Mavic Pro, it's significantly improved, and the design is just a lot more reliable by the looks of it, a lot more sturdy, and it's all metal, so that means that it's definitely going to be able to take a hit, and the camera itself is a lot more protected in here. So I really like this design, the camera just elegantly sits there, it sits flush, and it looks really nice. You always have other stuff in the box as per usual, so in here we have, I'm guessing, all the added accessories. So you get the cables, the added, oh you also get some thumbsticks, some fair, spare thumbsticks, some other cables and whatnot, some more cables and some more cables. We have another box in here as per usual and I'm looking for the propellers so hopefully this one contains the propellers! Yay, we got them! And this also contains all the other paperwork in here. Um, oh, we got some more propellers and some more propellers so we've got heaps of propellers. And you also get some paperwork, some information and there's also an official CASA piece of information for any Australian drone pilots it's just all of the rules and laws, which is actually really cool that they've included this because there are some idiots out there that fly drones. So I'm really glad that they've included this, the usual paperwork that you would expect, and the propellers, which is what I needed. And then the final box, I'm guessing, will be the charging brick. And here it is. There we go. So it's just the basic charging brick that you can come to expect. 
This looks very similar to the original Mavic Pro one. I'm actually keen to get the charging hub which comes in the Fly More combo. I will be getting that very soon. If you want to see any more on that, let me know in the comments below. But this is just a basic kit just to charge the one battery. So let's get into fixing the propellers on. This system is normally very easy and something that I think DJI really excel at. Just the engineering, the way that everything just works, it's just amazing and, and super easy to use. So you basically just alternate these, you find the corresponding arm, there we go, that's one on, and here's the other one here, and then we just have to attach the other two, and we're basically ready to fly at that point. It's, it's amazing how easy it is. So this is the Mavic 2 Pro in all of its glory here. There are definitely some noticeable differences here. I would definitely say that my favorite would be this whole remastered gimbal here. Of course the camera is getting me extremely excited, but I'm, I'm glad they addressed that gimbal issue. This feels like a lot more of a secure gimbal over the original Mavic Pro, which was very flimsy and was actually held together with rubber bands. Not too good. Now this one here has a lot more stable, reliable mechanisms when it comes to the arms here. You've got a better lighting system where you have the lights actually in the front here and also on the back. So you have lights all over, and then you also have the LEDs underneath if you're trying to take off in a dark area, um, which is extremely useful. The battery itself is definitely a lot more hefty. It's a lot bigger, and uh, obviously pumps out a lot more milliamp hours. Um, so that's exciting. You have the sensors everywhere, which is again really exciting. We have all these new features and functions of this new drone. And overall, it's got that classic Mavic Pro design with just a little bit more excellence to it. Make sure to have a splendid day. If you want to pick up one of my drone-inspired clothing shirts, I will have the link below to check out all the options through my store, iamtheskyclothing.com. I will have more videos. Also, if you want to pick up one of these drones from Amazon, I will have the link below. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a splendid day, and peace out.